are bee colonies in danger? I'm your neighborhood reporter, Olivia Pajot, connecting with local experts to ask how losing these pollinators could affect neighbors. So there are lots of reasons um, that pollinators you know, are, are in trouble and need our help. Pollinators like moths, butterflies, and bees. Adam Albert and his wife Jill caught the beekeeping bug about four years ago. Busy bees the Alberts showed me firsthand. And tell me nationwide, commercial groups have lost 60 to 70 percent of their hives. Approximately one in four bites you take requires a pollinator to produce the food you're eating. But what's the buzz about? According to Cornell University, this rate of decline is on track to be the biggest loss of honeybee colonies in U.S. history. Bees not only pollinate wildflowers and trees, but a multitude of food crops, like almonds. So almond prices are going to rise up. Mm -hmm. Almond milk's going to rise. Anything almond related. Yeah. And then it transfers to all the other crops. Yeah. Even down to soybeans that we get here in Michigan. Meaning higher prices at the grocery store for pollinated foods and impacts to the environment. Executive Director at the Dalham Conservancy, Hannah Schauer, says we could be losing bees and pollinators from habitat loss, pesticide use, and invasive species. We don't want to lose pollinators because that's going to impact our food resources as people as well as other wildlife food resources. Um, and the beautiful flowers you like to look at, those kinds of things. However, Shower says neighbors can help protect pollinators in their own backyard by planting native plants and reducing pesticide use. They do a huge service for us. In Jackson, I'm Olivia Pajot, Fox 47 News.